What's going on guys? Looking for a new way to store your comic books? I got a great solution for you and it's coming up. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brian with Submits Comics and in this video, I'm gonna give you a review of BCW's comic storage bin. I did an earlier review of the short box storage bin on this channel, but this is an updated version and it's going to include their new long box as well as their CGC graded storage bin. BCW was nice enough to send me these to review. They told me you're not a spokesman, so please feel free to speak how you honestly feel about these products. And that's what we're here to do today. So we're going to start with the regular comic storage bin. This is the short box version. It retails for about $24 on their website. I'll put a link to their site in the description of this video. You do have discounts when you order three of these or also another discount when you order five or more. So one thing I like about these is one, it's black. It kind of, everyone's used to those what, normal white boxes. I don't like those as much anymore. That's the main reason why I switched this in the begin with is it's black. It's kind of that subdued. It fits my home office well, but it's also that nice hard plastic. There's a bunch of different advantages to this box. It comes with one divider. You can buy separate dividers, but if you look on the back here, they have the books, and then it also has a place on here where you can display um, what's in the box, huh? But you can put stickers, you can put labels, that's also convenient. So what exactly comes in this box? I'm going to show you right now. So in it comes a piece of paper with also instructions on how to put the box together. They also have their own YouTube channel with some with a how-to guide on there on how to put these short boxes together. You can check that out as well. I didn't film putting it together because, yeah, no one really wants to see that mess. It's not like it's hard. It just takes some finesse, put it that way. But you do, in the box, you'll get one end. You'll get a side with the flip top. So um, you get the other end. That also has, like I said, has a little box where you can put display in there of what's in the box. It comes with a bottom to the box. And then it comes with the other side. And like I said, it comes with one of these storage dividers. Um, this is handy because a lot of times you don't fill a box up, comic books start falling down. So they come with a divider with slots in there where this slides in to hold those books up for you. But what does it look like when it's put together? So, so when it's put together, it looks like so. Um, this one's actually one I have put together already because it's got dust on the top. But uh, like I said, it has these slide locks to lock the tops in place, so you can't, so you can't open it, or it doesn't come open by itself. And then you just flip those up, and the two tops slide open like so. And there it is with the books. Now the short box holds about 150 bagged and boarded books, and then the long box holds 300, and then the graded box holds 30 graded books. And if, in case you're wondering, yes, it does hold uh, top loaders as well. Nice and sturdy plastic. I would, um, if you have a rubber mallet, it'll help assembling these, just kind of make it easy, make sure it's tighter. Um, I used, Kind of brute strength to snap it in but that's why i was talking about where the finesse comes from it snaps together pretty easy but just to make sure you get it together as tight as you want and those fittings tight i would say rubber mallet or a little bit of brute strength brute strength also on here the short box has four spaces for you to put those dividers in it if i were to change anything with it there's one of two things right but i would add a couple more places for those dividers just to make it a little bit easier or I would also, the places for the dividers, there's a little notch at the top. I would almost suggest that they have grooves all the way down the box, just so it's easier to guide that divider in. I don't know if you can see it, but here's what the bottom of the box looks like. And then there's two notches in the bottom, and there's two tabs from the dividers that go into these. And if you already have books in the box, it kind of becomes a pain in the butt to slide the divider in and then try to find, find the not just to put those tabs of the divider in. You got to kind of slide your hand in and, and feed it into there. So if they had grooves that kind of guided the divider all the way in, 
I think that might be helpful. But I think you'd almost maybe have to do one or the other because if you were going to add extra places for dividers and they were grooved, um, I'm no engineer, but I question if that weakens the integrity of the box as you fill it up and then you have all these slits into that hard plastic. But either way, I think having more divider slots or having those grooved one or the other would be beneficial. Little footers on the top so that you could stack as many as you want on here. Of course, um, it's your collection, so how many you want to stack is completely up to you. Uh, I would probably go four or five high at the, at the most. But then again, also, if you wanted to get to your books, then you'd have to take them off to get to them. But it's also helpful, like if you go set up at conventions and stuff like that, I, I see a lot of people using these. It's easy storage, stack them, move it out, bring it in, set it up, and so forth. I do like how they have their branding in the hard plastic. You got the BCW, but that is the short box. Next one they have is the graded comic book bin. As far as what comes in the box, it's pretty much the same as the short box. You got a bottom, two ends, two sides, all get assembled pretty much the same way. So here is the graded storage bin. As you can see, it sits a little bit taller. Um, like I said, it fits. 30 graded comics, exact same assembly, pretty much same. I mean, kind of look in there. It's empty as of right now. I haven't put any box, haven't put any books in it. But again, it has one divider in it. And that's what I was talking about, where it doesn't slide right away. You have to kind of feed it, put your hand down there and feed it in. And if you have books in there, that's kind of a pain in the butt. But And then one thing I do like is the divider, once it is in, it sits flush with the top. That's how one way you know it's all the way down there. It doesn't stick up. Um, you'll know if it's sticking up because, one, you can feel it, but also the top won't shut all the way. Hard plastic, like again, if it said this one fits 30, 30 graded books. And... This one on the site on the bcwsupplies.com site will cost you, it's, it's up there now for th about $30. And again, same discounts. If you buy three, there's a discount. And if you buy five or more, if you buy five, there's another discount. And again, free shipping, 80 bucks or more. The next one they have is actual the long box. A lot of people were waiting on these, waiting for these to come out. I, for one, was waiting for the, the graded case. That's what I've been looking for because I like using, especially with these boxes, I like using the short boxes more because... They get heavy and lugging that stuff around, but they do have a long box available. It says it holds about 300 bag aborted comics. And it even says it on the box, holds approximately 300 books. And what does it look like? I'll show you. So here is the long box edition, same exact build. Two ends, two sides, and a bottom. They all have to go together the same way. Same thing with the uh, the sliding lids up here. I don't know if you can see this, but yeah, it just slides up and down to unlock it and lock it in place. Same thing. Both tops come open side by side. One thing I do like about it here is the hinges on it. They're kind of those flexible little hinges to give a little give with the sides, so it kind of comes up and then over rather than real tight. I do like that because I could see if it was just too tight that the, the tops would be snapping off as you keep opening and closing these. So there's some give to that, which makes it easier to kind of bring up and then close over. And like I said, this one comes with two dividers. Now the box said, comes with, the instruction says comes with one divider. It says one partition, but this one actually had two in it. As the short box has four sections for dividers, the long box actually has seven different sections for dividers. And the long box on their site retails for about $44. Same as the other two. If you order three, you get a discount. And if you order five, you get a discount. And of course, free shipping if you spend more than $80. The next thing I wanted to talk about was you buy additional dividers for your boxes. They come in packs of three. Now they have the regular partition that fits the short and long box. But then they also have the graded, of course, as you can tell, the graded one's a little bit longer or taller, however you want, however you want to say it. Regular dividers for the short and long box are about $650 on BCW's website. And the CGC graded package for three di dividers, they call them partitions, of course, but the CGC graded ones are $750 on the website. 
So great storage solutions, especially if you're looking to put those boxes and get rid of those normal white cardboard short boxes, long boxes, or even those graded boxes. Those are great. Hard plastic, well protected, easy to move around. I enjoy them. Like I said, the only thing I wish they had was that the dividers had grooves all the way down so that you can kind of guide it in easier so they sit in those two little notches for the, the foot. For those tabs to for those tabs to fit in those little notches at the bottom of the box um, that's my only real complaint about them let me know if you guys have these what do you like about these boxes what do you not like about these boxes i'm a fan of them bcw didn't ask me you know to say that i'm a fan i just do enjoy them i was a little upset because i bought a five pack of the regular cardboard graded boxes and then right after i did so i saw that they had launched the storage bin or the comic book bin for the graded comics. So I went right around and of course ordered a couple of those because I like the black, I like the clean look. I don't like walking in my home office and seeing those white cardboard boxes. That's part of the reason why I switched to a black filing cabinet for the majority of my collection, but running out of space on there. So now I've been buying up these storage bin boxes because it fits the same color scheme and easy to store, easy to move around. Again, a link to BCW's website is in the description of this video as well as I'll put it on the screen right now. Make sure you check them out. They do suggest that you check with your local comic book store before going to their website. I have a company like that. They want you to support your store, so definitely do that. But if you want to, they do offer those discounts on their website if you're buying three or more. So that's one avenue to approach as well. I'm Brian Wood, and you're watching Superman's Comics YouTube channel. And this has been my review of the BCW comic book Ben.